And this is Harvey again. We're going to show um, two different methods of removing the arrows from a pomegranate. Um, I'm going to score the rind of this wonderful variety of pomegranate. Try to get approximately in the middle. Um, one of the tools we're going to use is called the arrow removal tool. This was a terrible job. I was doing it in half here. And they show the whole fruit just being cut in half, but that, of course, severs a lot of the arrows. This is the hardest part of this. Okay, so there's there. Okay, the first one I've demonstrated before, and we're gonna go ahead and do this again. I'm gonna actually use this one here for this. Some kernels are sticking out, and I'll show why later. I'm just going to beat. Probably need to get a different device there, a heavy ladle, or maybe going to make a little wooden handle of some sort. Someone. I saw I had used a, a pestle. I don't have a pestle. It's a little messier than the one I did in a previous video. That was an unknown variety that I did. I'm using a bowl of water just so the arrows don't come flying out and bouncing back out. Okay, that's this one here. That's that method. Fairly fast. Worked okay. This other one is a tool. I'm trying it for the first time. I saw a video. Um, I bought this one on eBay. I might consider importing it myself. Um, it's the same principle. It has a grade so you don't have to hold it. It has a cup that can hold the fruit. It can hold a larger fruit. I've test fitted it on a two pound fruit. This basically controls the splattering. Same principle though. Your fingers are out of the way more. A friend that also bought one to try reported that he would sometimes hit his fingers when he held on to it. It's easier to avoid with this. Let me just check the progress. A little bit more. Okay, I think that's good enough. So, looking at the inside here, you see there's some splattering. This membrane material, if you put it into a bowl of water, it'll usually float out. Some kernels will be stuck to it. You can use a colander then to drain it off. So, this shows this tool. It works pretty well, I think. Okay, thank you.